Hi, I'm Peter Sefton. Welcome to my furniture school. We're looking today at cutting a lap dovetail. Traditional joint for the corners of drawers. A thicker drawer front, a thinner drawer side. Here we go. Let's see how quickly we can go about this. I've got my cutting gauge. I've got that one set up. About two thirds the thickness of the drawer front. I'm going to scribe a line across my end grain. And I'll just re-strike that so it's nice and strong. I'm going to use that same mark on the edge or on the end of my drawer side. Traditionally these gauge lines would be seen when the drawer is finished. It would mean that it was a good quality maker had made the drawer. If the gauge lines disappeared it meant he made the drawer too big and therefore he had to go back and plane his drawer down to fit. Never a good thing to do. Okay, the end of this one. Four millimetres. That's the end of my half pin. Then we're going to come into 22 and then 26. Same from the other edge. Four. Then pick my ruler up. 22. Twenty-six. My dovetail template, transfer those down the face of my timber. And from the other edge the same. And so I've got those transferred down, I'll use my dovetail saw now cut down those lines. I'll bring that down slightly lower in the vise and give it a dovetail saw just hitting the waist side of the tail. Piercing saw, drop it down my saw kerf, just above my shoulder line, pop out that bit of waste, it's getting stuck in there. Same with that one. Take my 6mm chisel and just clean up to my shoulder line. Just a very small amount of timber to come out of there to get him nice and clean. Flip that one around, do the same from the other side. Flip that timber down its edge. My scalpel just popped over there. Bring this line across square on the edge. Dovetail saw it off just above that shoulder line. My bevel edge chisel. Clean that up. Same on the other edge. We can find that gauge line from before. Scribe across. Dovetail saw again. Get it nice and clean. And put my other bit of timber. So we turn him around the other way and get him so he's pretty much level with my bench top. Get 
my tails on there, get them lined up so they're a line of the edge and also to the shoulder line. Hold them on there nice and steady. Get my pencil, put them into those corners to mark those lines up. Timber around. I need to now reset my gauge to the thickness, thickness of my draw side. Tighten them up, just double check him, slight adjustment, tap on the bench, slightly too far, let's get him back. It's looking pretty good. And I need to do a gauge line on the inside of my draw front as the base shoulder line for the sockets of my tails. Put in the device. Get out of the way. And just come on the waist side of those lines. Be careful not to go over the gauge line, either on the inside or on the end of the timber. Timber out the device now, cramp him down the table, and I'm going to be chopping him with my bevel edge chisels to remove the waste. This is the bit that starts getting a bit more fiddly. To help me get my depths right, and rather than chopping all the way through my door front, which is easy to do, I've got my bevel edge chisel. I've actually marked him with some tape to the depth of my tail. Using my carver's mallet. I'm going to come from the end here now and we'll actually start chopping down. We'll actually start chopping down and removing the sockets. Just coming down to where that tape is. chisel down towards that baseline, just gradually working down the flat side of the chisel must always go to the baseline and the bevel part is always on the waist, pushing the waste material away from that joint. Pick some of the bits out of your finger, I'm going to use that same chisel to remove the scrap in here. Working again, flat side of the chisel down towards the line of my cutting gauge. This is a bit more tricky than the through dovetail as we're working into a blind corner. And I'll have to get a bit more chisel work in there to really clean those out. You can see the majority of the timber is now out of there. Trying to make those sockets nice and clean. Get my smaller chisel. I'll just run down this angle in the corner. Get into there. You can buy a left and right handed dovetail chisel to get into here. I'm just using two chisels of a standard set. This one being an eighth of an inch or three mud chisel. This is where it starts getting a bit more fiddly. And it's getting these corners nice and clean. That's all important. That one's looking fairly good. I'll check the others the same. And I'll have an overall look at them at the end.